हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू सिंपल लिविंग दिशा शेटीज सो ये टैमरिन है एंड आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग फ्रॉम एस्टरडेज ब्लॉग विच वॉज अपलोडेड बाई मी ऑन मंडे सो आई हैड एक्चुअली ग्राइंडेड द बैटर एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दैट रेसिपी वॉज एक्चुअली पिक्ड फ्रॉम यूट्यूब आई डोंट नो हुज वीडियो इट इज सो आई पिक्ड इट अप एंड एक्चुअली आई ट्राइड इट आई वॉन्टेड टू ट्राई बिकॉज आई एम गुड एट प्रिपेयरिंग रोटीज पराठाज चपातीज एंड and all those stuffs but when it comes to dosa i'm little scared i am a south indian but preparing dosa actually it is not that uh, it's not my cup of tea i feel so because it won't be that tasty or uh, because i am in the learning process and it is very difficult so also being a south indian or uh, north indian doesn't matter see basically for preparing dosa you need to have a good tawa so that was my problem so now everything is perfect and day by day i am actually becoming perfect so actually i used moong dal rice urad dal and a little bit of poha you can actually use the cooked rice and grind it keep it for fermentation so the, it was really absolutely perfectly fermented and after fermentation i added a little bit of salt for that as per your taste i added a little bit and then the next tip is i used onion for um applying oil on my tawa so and uh, trust me i never had an idea that this dosa will be that good because uh, see i try different you can have a roasted dosa of this also you can i make in masala dosa also but uh, i'm trying to tell you really it was very soft see you can see the um, holes in dosa so this is like literally very nice dosa i loved it and um, yeah too much of uh, anything is too bad right so i prepared many on that particular day and uh, actually we couldn't finish it that day but seriously i'm trying to tell you it is really awesome you can try without any doubt of the recipe so that is like you have to actually take half cup of moong dal half cup of uh, rice but when it comes for uh, uh, urad dal you have to take one fourth of it so it is like one is to one is to uh, half so that's the proportion for urad dal is like quantity of urad dal should be little less but you can add it more also so you can make the variations so next step is here the same time i've shown you tamarind so you will be surprised right actually i missed the clip so after ta- uh, keeping the tamarind in the uh, bowl i actually added water and i kept it for boiling okay so after that i left it out for cooling so this is a procedure how i actually extract tangerine syrup so we buy it from the shop it which is actually having uh, chemical so try this method so i also i'll try to tell you this food processor is really amazing you can go with any brand but i mine it is a dome maker so i'm using it for several it's like a multi purpose uh, dome maker where i'm using it for chopping where i'm using for kneading the dough as well as for all this i have last uh, last week i would have shown it for uh, ginger grating right so here also i'm trying to uh, actually churn okay i'm trying to churn the uh, syrup uh, sorry uh, tamarind which was soaked in the water it is not soaked in the water again it is actually uh, boiled okay so i have literally boiled it for 5 or 6 minutes and then i have left it out for cooling so after that that's the time when it, the tamarind becomes soft and it gets mixed with the water and see after that i churned it and see this is the method literally i'll tell you you will not be wasting anything here you will be using everything so because i was uh, actually having the method see here i am actually uh, you don't need cherni jo hum bolte hain na strainer you need not uh, use strainer because there also it takes much time here if you use this kind of uh, ut- um, utensil you will find it very easily you can use it for straining rice also so it is very easily available in the market and you can strain rice or anything you can wash your fruits and keep in it so that's what i bought and i am using it for straining here so 
see uh, very easy it's like you can prepare it and store it for two months nothing will happen uh, because we know that see whatever you are storing in the refrigerator the uh, shell life of that particular item will be very less so that's the reason to increase the shell life i am trying to tell you i am giving this method so do share do try it share save it you need not if you want you can make ice cubes out of it and use whenever you want but again when you make ice cubes and put it into any dish it will actually splatter directly when you put it for oil or any hot items it will splatter but this way if you keep it in your refrigerator it will be useful it will last long and you know what this is the waste of the syrup which i am going to use for several other purpose so i told you anything won't be wasted here so i'm say uh, but make sure you save it in the or you can have to pour and uh, you have to store it in the glass jar because glass jar is the one which doesn't react with anything okay so see here i'm saving it in my refrigerator it comes for me for one month because i have prepare fish chicken so i use it more and after that after this preparation after our breakfast me and my son we had visited our nearby uh, showroom that is bata showroom uh, because we wanted to buy some summer slippers uh, because we are traveling to our native uh, that's a reason so my son also bought and i also bought and uh, there is a big story of the slipper that i'll be sharing later but see uh, the slipper is really amazing and i'm 100% sure everyone will like it so here we are going into the um, um you can see the footwear which i am using see this is the one red color it's really amazing it looks so good on my leg and it is actually a uh, multi purpose i mean to say you can use it for rough use also as well as you can uh, pair it up with any of your uh, casual outfits it's literally awesome i'm dry, i'm telling you and it costs only 1000 and it is actually long lasting i mean to see you can use it for more than 10 years uh, i'm telling you it's like i'm using it for more than 2 years but i actually uh, something happened to it that story i as i told you later on i'll tell still i don't want to throw it and after that i actually wanted a um, footwear okay so see you can see the footwear which i'm showing in the picture right so i bought it i paid almost 1300 for it and i literally didn't use it and it got spoiled so another one this is like hush puppies i bought it and even this uh, bata showroom right it's very close to my house and i literally liked it it's awesome and also you can see the mask right so it's because as i mentioned we live in chennai so the metro construction is going on so mts construction so that's the reason we are using a uh, mask when we travel and i have been uh, to the nearby shops so i used my two wheeler me and my son we went and also the bag what i'm carrying even that is very good it is because usually we go with plastic paper and after that uh, paper actually uh, falls off i mean to say cuts off but uh, plastic again we are not supposed to use try to buy this kind of bag thanks for watching love you